So now I'm going to solve a problem. So first of all, we discuss the problem on this admission of a partner. Uh, question number uh, 42 in which uh, the goodwill premium is brought by the incoming partner, new partner and half of the sum of the goodwill is withdrawn by the old partner. So there, is, uh, there are some revaluation of assets and liabilities. So and you have to prepare a journal entry, pass a journal entries uh, in the books and also prepare the new balance sheet and uh, we'll prepare a partner a revaluation account partners capital account as well as we'll pass first of all we'll pass a journal entry so in this question uh, c brings 10000 as its capital when capital is brought by c new c is an incoming partner a and b are all partners their balances are given so they were they are in the ratio of 3 is to 1 a and b is the old partner and their old ratio is 3 is to 1 and their balance sheet is given so and um, <coughs> C is coming for 10,000 as his capital the journal entry for capital brought by uh, C is uh, bank account debited to C capital account 10,000 and goodwill premium is brought by C 5,000 5,000 is the amount of goodwill premium brought by C so 5,000 so the entry is bank account debited to good premium for goodwill account so capital brought and goodwill premium brought both combined compound entry you can pass combinedly you can pass one single entry that is bank account debited to cis capital account to premium for goodwill account so total capital cash brought is 15000 so two capital account 10000 to premium for goodwill account 5000 so capital cis capital is credited by 10000 and premium for goodwill is capital created by 5000 and bank account is debited by 15000 so whatever goodwill premium is brought by C, it is to be uh, distributed to the old partners A and B in the sacrificing ratio. The sacrificing ratio is same as old ratio because A and B, they are going to continue the same ratio. So in this way, the journal entry is premium for goodwill account debited 5000 and 5000 is premium for goodwill account debited to A capital account and to B capital account. Similarly, now, uh, this is premium for goodwill, goodwill premium brought by incoming partner C, premium for goodwill account debit at 5000, to A capital account 3750 and to B capital account 1250. This is distributed among 5000 is distributed, credited to A and B in the sacrificing ratio 3 is to 1. The goodwill premium brought by incoming partner C is credited, credited to A and B in their sacrificing ratio 3 is to 1. Since new ratio is not given, old ratio is not uh, hampered, so the old ratio will become the sacrificing ratio. So 5000 is 5000 goodwill premium brought by new partner C is credited to A and B in the ratio 3 is to 1. So in this way, A is credited as 3000. 3750 and B is graded as 1250. So that now, as per the question, the goodwill is withdrawn by A and B, A capital account debited, B capital account debited to bank account. A is debited by 1875 and B is debited by 625 to bank account 2500. So A capital account debited 1875, B capital account debit 625 to bank account 2500. This is half of the share of goodwill withdrawn by the old partner. So now this is about the goodwill adjustment and the capital. After the general reserve, distribution of general reserve, so uh, revaluation account and debited to stock account, stock is reduced, uh, fixtures is reduced, PVD is created on debtors at the rate of 5% and bills receivable provision is created at the rate of 5% on bills receivable account also. So revaluation account debited to stock account 2000, to fixtures 100, to Provision for bad debt 800 and two bills saver 150. So revaluation account debit by 3050. Land and building is appreciated by 5000. That is 20 percent on land and building increase. The increase of land and building. The journal entry is land and building account debited to revaluation account. There is a claim against the uh, damages. Claim against the farm for the damages. So liability of X to 1000 is to be created. So there is a claim for da damages. So against the farm. farm has to pay now so the liability is increased so in this way revaluation account debited to claim for damages so there is so 
this is for claim for damages revaluation account debited to claim for damages next point number f is given there is an item of 650 included in the creditor which is not likely to claim now you don't have to pay to creditor so the creditor is reduced the entry is revaluation account uh, creditor sundry creditor account debited to revaluation account because creditor li is liability liability is reduced so it is a profit for the uh, firm so sundry creditor account debited to revaluation account 650 so in this way so uh, by uh, the <coughs> decrease in the decrease in the asset decrease in the asset and increase in the liability is uh, less than the increase in the asset so and increase in the asset and decrease in the liability so with the help of this we we'll, uh, we find that there is a profit and revaluation account so profit and revaluation is to be distributed among the uh, partner all partners in their old ratio profit distributed to the old partners dollar entries revaluation account debited to a capital account b capital account the profit and revaluation is 1600 so a, a got 1200 and b got 400 so this is in the ratio of 3 is to 1 old ratio Profit on revaluation is to be distributed to the old partners or credited to the old partners in their old ratio 3 is to 1. So now uh, this is the journal entry uh, of this uh, sum. So again I will be explaining you the uh, partners capital account. Uh, uh, partners capital account uh, first of all we have to prepare the revaluation account although already we have John John and we have already uh, uh, ascertained the profit on revaluation because increasing the asset and decreasing the liability is more than the uh, decreasing the asset and increasing the liability so we got a profit on revaluation so in this way revaluation when you prepare the revaluation account in the ledger of revaluation account revaluation account debited to stock account 2000 to fixture account 100, to uh, provision for bad and doubtful debt 800, and bills receivable 550. This is also in the debit side of revaluation account, and also in the revaluation account debit side, there is a claim against the damages uh, against the farm. So, two claim for damages 1000. And in the credit side, building is increased. Credit side of revaluation account by land and building 5000, and creditor is reduced by central creditor 650. So, in the credit side, 5650. Two, app, two items are there in the credit side of revaluation account land and building uh, land and building and sunroof land, land and building increase by 5000 and creditor is decreased by 650 so two items are created to the revaluation account and in the debit side of revaluation account two stock two fixtures two pbd two bills civil account and two claim for damages so this since our credit side is more than the debit side so we got profit and revaluation 1600 that is to be debit uh, that is to be uh, two two partner two partners capital account that is profit is on revaluation is to be uh, divided among a and b in the old ratio so a got 1200 and b got uh, 400 after that now we prepare the partners capital account but when we prepare partners capital account you know we have to um, laser three columns are to be made in both the debit side and credit side so first of all by balance brought down 30,000 and 16,000 a capital is 30,000 b capital is 16,000 reserve is distributed among all partners in the ratio 3 is to 1 so reserve is 4,000 in the old showing in the old balance sheet by general reserve a is 3,000 a column 3,000 b column 1,000 in the credit side so this I am talking about the credit side of partners capital account and revaluation profit by revaluation profit 1200 to A and, and 400 to B because profit, profit and revaluation is to be created to the old partners so the entry was revaluation account debited to A capital account to B capital account so A and B is created by revaluation profit so uh, capital brought by um, C is by bank account in the credit side of the partners capital account by bank account 10,000 in the credit side of partners capital account so goodwill premium brought by uh, C is to be uh, credited to credited to A and B by A and by premium for goodwill account A got 3,750 you can also see the journal entry so by B account by in the B column also 1,250 so in the debit side 
half of the goodwill is withdrawn. So partners cap A capital account debited, B capital account debited to bank account. So that is to be reflected here in the debit side of partners capital account to bank account 1875 and 625 in the B column. So balance if you minus credit, credit minus debit, we will get a cap, new capital of A 36,075 and B new capital is 18,025 and C is 10,000. This is the adjusted capital of A, B, C and this is this capital is shown also in the new balance sheet. So when you prepare the new balance sheet, capitals are liability side, capital of A, B, C just now, which the capital of A just now which I, we have ascertained in the partner's capital account. So the A capital is 36,075, B capital is 18,025 and C capital is 10,000. And the creditor is shown in the liability side 14, 41,500, less not likely to claim 5,650. So creditor is 40,850 in the liability side of balance sheet. And one more new liability is here that is claim provision for claim against the damage 1000. Cash at bank in the asset side, cash at bank, old cash was 26,500. Capital brought by A is um, capital brought by new partner C is to be added 10,000 and goodwill premium brought by C is 5,000 to be added and goodwill premium half of the goodwill premium is withdrawn minus 2,500. So 26,500 plus 10,000 plus 5,000 minus 2,500 after this adjustment of capital and the goodwill and goodwill withdrawn half. So 39,000 is the balance cash balance at bank in the asset side. Bill is showing 3,000 but minus Pro, minus provision 5 percentage that is 150 minus 3000 minus 150 is 2850 uh, then stock stock 20,000 uh, minus 2000 reduce 18,000 is to be shown in the asset side of balance it furniture old furniture fixtures was 1000 less reduce 100 900 is the new furniture value of furniture land and building is 25,000 increase appreciation is 5000 the new value of land and building is 30,000 in this way Total balance it is one lakh five thousand and hundred fifty in both the side debit side and credit side. So this is the balance it of the reconstitute reconstitute after the reconstitution of farm A B N C after the admission of the uh, new partner C. So again I will be also giving you the solution whatever I have discussed just now. So all this. Uh, to be gone thoroughly once more, you have to uh, go through the journal entry, you have to remember each and every journal entry how, and how it is posted in the ledger like revaluation account. When you when we talk about the revaluation account, revaluation account is a nominal account. In the debit side, all the expenses and losses, that is the asset decrease and liability increase. And in the credit side, asset increase and liability decrease. If credit side of revaluation account is more, we will get a profit on revaluation. If debit side of revaluation account is more, we will get a loss on revaluation account. And this profit or loss on revaluation is to be distributed among the old partners uh, in their old ratio. If there is a loss on revaluation account, it is to be debited in the partner's capital account. If it is a profit on revaluation account, it is to be credit credited to the partner's capital account in this old ratio. So this is the discussion of this problem uh, number 42. You can also refer to the question number 42 in your book. So this is the, this question where you can learn about the goodwill premium brought and half of the goodwill premium is withdrawn and the revaluation of assets and liabilities. Now how with the new liabilities uh, uh, is shown here like there, there is claim uh, claim against the firm for the uh, damages. So that is a new liability. So it is to be shown in the new balance sheet also and it is also the entry for the new liabilities revaluation account debited to claim for the damages so that was 1000 uh, creditor is reduced when creditor is reduced creditor's liability creditor is reduced so sundry creditor account debited to revaluation account 650 so this entry is very important here creditor is reduced when the value of the creditor is reduced re, uh, creditor account sundry creditor account debited to revaluation account so in this way so um, we are getting so many uh, like information from this question here creditor reduce uh, new liabilities uh, what is joint entry for the stock reduce features features reduce revaluation account debited to stock account to features account new new provision created two provision for bad and doubtful debt revaluation account debited two provision for doubtful debt and when the value of building increased asset building is asset asset increases profit so land and building account debited to revaluation account is created so this uh, this much so now you can also refer the problem and also sending you the solution of this. So please go through the solution. Thank you.